this video, I want to explore some information that I got a while back from someone who has studied the Josh Homme Queens of the Stone Age tone a lot more than me. And that info involves the Boss SD1. So I reached out to Boss and they sent me a new SD1. So you should consider this a sponsored video, but I would do the same with or without them on board. So I knew that Josh was using the SD1 on the early records and also live, but I didn't know exactly how he was using it and that's where the new info comes in. And of course it's really hard to fact check this info so we will just have to try and see if it works. So apparently Josh was inspired by Billy Gibbons who used the Range Master treble booster and I don't know if he couldn't find one, he couldn't get one, or he had the SD1, but he used uh, the SD1 as a treble booster. So he turned the gain all the way down, uh, volume and tone all the way up. So that's the secret. That's what I want to try in this video. I am also boosting around 400 hertz on a boss equalizer down here. That's also something that I read that he is doing. And to really try this in the right environment, I was lucky enough to borrow a Ampeg VT22. So we are doing the Eastwood GP Ultra, we are doing the equalizer and we are doing the pedal into like one of the amps that Josh is known for using. I'm miking that with a Lewitt MTP440 and a Bayer Dynamic M160 from a distance. I have played the amp briefly now to set the levels and to set the mic placements, but I haven't played with the pedals. Uh, let's do that together. I'm going to put on some earplugs because this is the loudest thing that I've heard ever. I've also set the amp to some pictures that I saw online from a live rig of Josh. It's a bit difficult to tell where I'm sitting if it's too much gain or not. <laughs> There's a lot of clarity to the sound still and a lot of definition. I don't feel that it's too much gain. It might be for some of the songs. <laughs>
had to listen to the recording and it sounded amazing. Of course, on the records, uh, the songs have different gain levels and that was really hard to adjust for here in the room. But this combination just sounds amazing and I definitely feel that there's something uh, right with this setting here on the SD1 that's really pushing the amp to the right level. Again with gain you can turn down the guitar or uh, use a volume pedal. You can also probably turn down the volume here on the amp. It is set pretty loud. Also with the different songs and different albums you need to take into account that he used different amps not just the VT22, he used the VT40, VT4 and VT4B. Later on Songs for the Deaf he was using the PV standard and the Musician I believe which are transistor amps and of course the Tubeworks amp. And also a bit surprising to me a Tech 21 trademark 120 that I think he used both in the studio and live. So there are so many different things that he has been doing up and through the years. If you want to get as close as possible I think the amp is of course really important. Icing on the cake is the SD1 that is bringing a lot to the sound and boosting some mids on a EQ pedal. That's also really important. Let me know if you have any thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thanks to Boss for sponsoring this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.